dears, Ola here. Today I'm going to show you how to alter simple wooden box and to turn it to a magical treasures box using Prima product by Finaber. And the first step is uh, to cover the box with a black gesso inside and outside. The gesso has dried and I changed the box locker and the box hinges to a more beautiful in a vintage style. And now I'm applying a graphite texture paste through stencil. I really love this paste. I think this paste is uh, one of my favorites. Uh, but uh, when you use this paste, make sure to choose a stencil with not a small pattern. Don't forget to add uh, the same uh, texture also on the box sides. To work on a box sides could be uh, pretty challenging. If you have some difficulties with uh, this, my advice is to dry each side separately and then continue to other side. After finishing with the paste, make sure that you still can open the box. Now I begin to add the elements. My first layer is a chipboard die cut. To glue such a thin element like this uh, die cut, I'm using very strong craft glue. Now I'm going to add a few different cord trims. To glue them I'm using a 3D matte gel by Finaber. I really love to use this gel to glue all the embellishments in a mixed media project.
My vision for this project is uh, like a sleeping fairies in the forest. So I'm going to use this uh, resin faces by Prima Marketing as the uh, fairies faces. I think this uh, will look like a fairy mom with her fairy babies. I'm removing all the gel medium leftovers with a wet brush. Before painting and before covering with black gesso, I decided to cover all the embellishments with a soft gloss gel because I want to harden all the cords and uh, protect uh, the chipboard die cuts. To make the composition more intricate and interesting, I'm adding a few pieces of a cheese cloth fabric. I'm gluing this fabric with a soft gloss gel.
before painting we have to cover all the embellishments with a black gesso. I really love to add this uh, texture to my mixed media projects. It's a mix of uh, art stones, mini art stones, black gesso and uh, to make it sticky I'm adding there 3D matte gel or even uh, soft gloss gel, it really doesn't matter. The box uh, has dried and uh, it's time to color it. I'm going to color it with Art Alchemy Opal Magic Acrylic Paints. It really doesn't matter with which exactly color you will start. What does matter here is uh, to add a really thin layer of each color.
don't forget about the sides to color them i'm using just the same paints which i use it on the box front My last step in the painting is uh, to highlight the box edges with a gold tone. To do it, I'm using violet gold color. If you don't have exactly this color, you can use rose gold or even any metallic gold paint. Just make sure to add a really thin and uh, transparent layer of uh, the paint. We finish it with uh, the outside of the box. In reality, this box is really amazing. It has so magical look. And the texture made with the graphite paste so pleasant to the touch. It's time to take care of uh, the inside of the box. I'm painting the inside just with the same paint. That's it. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you have any questions about the process or materials, you're welcome to ask me in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye!